Hola Panteras, bienvenidos a Yoga, welcome to Yoga. This week we're looking at the geometry of yoga, la geometría de yoga. Geometry is the study of shapes, las formas. Hacemos muchas posiciones en yoga. Y hoy buscamos los círculos, las cuadradas y los triángulos. Vamos a hacer las formas con nuestros cuerpos. We're going to make triangles and squares and circles with our bodies. Here are some of the shapes we're going to do today. Can you see any circles or squares or other shapes? Aquí hay unas de las posiciones que vamos a hacer hoy. ¿Puedes ver triángulos, círculos y las cuadradas? Empezamos con un nuevo ejercicio de respiración. Respiración cuadrada. We're going to start with a new breath, square breathing. It looks like this. Square breath is excellent for feeling grounded and steady, just like a square. Respiración cuadrada hace que una persona se siente firme y calma. Respiración cuadrada tiene cuatro partes. Square breathing has four parts. Usa tu dedo para dibujar el cuadrado. Inhala por cuatro segundos. Contén la respiración por cuatro segundos. Exhala por cuatro segundos. Y pausa sin respiración por cuatro segundos. Breathe in for four seconds. Hold for four seconds. Breathe out for four seconds and hold for four seconds. Cada parte es igual. Each part is equal. Hacemos respiración cuadrada por nuestro mindful momento hoy. Sientarse erguido, ojo cerrado o mira abajo. Cuando suena el timbre, when the bell rings, practica la respiración cuadrada. Practice square breathing. When the chime rings again, cuando suena el timbre otra vez, termine la respiración y abre tus ojos. ¿Listo? Muy bien. When you feel upset, you can use square breathing to help yourself calm down and feel stable. Hacemos los calentamientos. De todo caminos, la espina se puede mover. Let's start with warming up the spine by moving it in all the directions. Two hands down. Two knees down. Lift your heart. Say mu. Mu. Round your back. Tuck your chin. Say meow. Quiet cat. Quiet cat. Me. No sound cat. No sound cat. Con respiración. Crisscross. Two hands up. Giraffe mouth ready. Breathe in. Get tall. Our wings click. And go. Freeze. 
Curl your raw wings long. One hand on the knee and the other behind. Lift up your heart. Breathe in. Ooh. No sound, just breath. Freeze the other way, freeze. Grow your all wings long. One hand on the knee and the other behind. Lift up your heart, breathe in. Good job. Después tenemos uno nuevo baile del sol. Se llama Los Sarge Salutes y tiene una canción. Good job. Now let's go on our shape hunt. Vamos a cazar las formas. Your job is to find all the shapes in the yoga pose. Tu trabajo es encontrar las formas en cada posición de yoga. Tu eres un detective de yoga, como Shapelock Holmes. You are like a shape detective, like Shapelock Holmes. <laughs> Let's start easy with triangle pose or trikonasana in Sanskrit. Can you find the triangle in this pose? ¿Puedes ver los triángulos en esta posición? Did you see this one? How about this smaller one here? Are there any others? Okay, hacemos la posición juntos ahora con una respiración cada Lado. Okay, let's do the position together now with a square breath on each side. Start in mountain pose and hop your feet and hands out. Then turn your left toes out and reach forward, 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 forward and freeze. Keep your back long and straight and take your hands up and down. Let's do a square breath. Did you see me counting on my top hand? Let's try the other side. Turn all 10 toes to the front. Switch to your other foot. Reach, 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 reach. Make your legs and feet really strong. And turn your hands vertical. Let's do another square breath. Will you count with your top hand? Hold. Breathe out. Hold. And come back up, hop back together. Good job. Let's see what shapes we see in the next pose. ¿Puedes pensar de otra posición con los triángulos? Did you think of downward facing dog? Estaba pensando de downward dog? Muy bien. Hacemos downward facing dog y después un variación se llama el delfín. Dolphin pose. In Sanskrit, it's called Chulukanasana. Mm -hmm. 
You know downward facing dog. Let's do that one first. Put your hands down shoulder distance apart. And lift your hips to the sky. Let's give our doggy tails a little wag. One leg up. Wag, 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 wag. And the other leg up. Wag, 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 wag. And two feet down. Now, to do dolphin, hacer el delfín, usa sus brazos. This part of your hand is, your arm is down on the mat. Like this. Spread your fingers wide. And lift your hips to the sky. Can you see the triangle shape? Puedes ver el, la forma del triángulo? If you want a challenge, lift your foot up here. Maybe reach for your head with your big toe. And straighten that leg out. Try the other side. Reach, reach, reach. And relax. And rest in child's pose. And wiggle your fingers. Then you walk your way back up. I wonder what shape we'll find next. Here's another challenging shape that will make your whole body stronger. Esta posición es muy fuerte por todo el cuerpo. Se llama side plank pose, or in Sanskrit, vashistasana. Puedes ver el triángulo o otras formas? Let's try it. Start in tabletop, like you're going to do cat and cow. Then put your hand right underneath your shoulder and turn to the side. You can practice with your hand up or on your hip. This is level one. Maybe you play around with lifting that back foot off. Or maybe you're ready for level two. Can you step both feet back? Maybe you can take that top arm up. Let's do a square breath. Don't forget to do the other side. Let's switch. Choose the variation that works for you. On this side, I'm gonna show you a really strong variation in case you want a challenge. This one will make your shoulders and your back and your legs and your belly very strong. So start by stepping both feet back and pull your toes back toward your shin. And lift your top foot up. Maybe grab for the big toe. And you can hold here for a square breath. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Release slowly. And take a little break in child's pose. <sighs> okay, we did three different shapes with lots of triangles. I wonder if there are any yoga shapes with squares or rectangles. Well, we just did tabletop, la posición de la mesa. Aquí hay un variación. Se llama reverse tabletop, o in Sanskrit, Parvottanasana. Asana, al final, significa shape or pose. Let's try it. First, to turn on your core, let's do boat for a moment. Lean back and lift up your legs. Can you straighten one leg? How about the other? Can you do it with one hand and one leg straight? And try the other side. Hi there. All right, let's try two straight legs. And two arms out, hold three, two, and relax your feet down. Put your hands behind you with your fingers pointing forward and your feet hip distance apart. And take a breath in. And as you exhale, lift up your hips and make a table. Push into your hands to stretch your shoulders. Can you see the square or rectangle? Rectangle. Puedes ver la cuadrada aquí en esta posición. Tenemos una respiración cuadrada. Inhale. Hold, exhale, hold, and slowly come down. We can make another shape here. 
with our feet and our legs. It's kind of like a square. Es un poco como un cuadrada, pero un poco diferente también. It's a diamond. Put your feet together and your knees out wide. Can you draw the diamond shape with your fingers? Yeah, it's in your legs. Now, let's see if we can, hmm, can we bring a circle into this? Let's make a circle with our arms. Take your circle arms way up, breath in, and all the way down, and here comes Boomer. He wants to see the circle on the diamond. Ah, let's come up, inhale, and all the way down, exhale. And inhale your circle up, and all the way down. And all the way up. And relax your hands out. Take your feet out in front. Give them a good shake, bounce the knees. And then put your knees up to the sky and do a few side to side windshield wipers with your legs. Huh, there's some little triangles right here, aren't there? There's shapes all over. Vamos a terminar. We're going to finish with a very fun and challenging yoga shape. It's called full wheel pose. In Sanskrit, it is Urva Danyarasana, and it has a circle in it. Can you see the circle right here? The more flexible your back, the more like a circle it will be. We'll try it with our bellies up and then with our bellies down. And if you can't do this full shape, that's okay. I'll give you some variations. Let's go. It's called floor bow. So come to your belly, reach back, grab your feet from the outside edges, and kick into your feet. Maybe you even want to rock forward and back. To me, this kind of looks like a circle in my legs and arms. Hi, Boomer! <laughs> or it kind of looks like a teardrop. Good job. Now let's try it with our belly up. This is another great shape for getting strong. So start out on your back with your knees pointing up and your hands at your sides. If you want, for this first level, you can grab your feet with your hands. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, lift your hips up to the sky. Maybe tuck your shoulders under. Do you see any shapes in this posture? This is called bridge pose. Now you can stay right here, or if you're ready for the next level, come back down. Then put one hand on either side of your head with your elbows pointing up to the sky. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, push down with your hands and your feet. And come on up, stretch out your belly. Can you do a square breath here? And slowly come down, let your head tuck in first and then your back and give your knees a big squeeze. Rock around on your back with one hand on each knee and try the other way. Rock and roll up and come on up to your seat. Good job. These are all the shapes we did today. That's amazing, good job. Now, I think it's time for us to get a really good rest. Es tiempo para Shavasana, vamonos. <sighs> Lie down on your back and get comfortable. Muy cómodo aquí. So you can have your feet hip distance apart with your toes flopping out to the sides. And your hands facing the sky. Tuck your shoulders under, tuck your chin on a little bit. Give everything a little wiggle so you can be really still. Now we're going to try to be still for a whole minute. Try to keep your mind focused on your breath. Enfocarse en su respiración todo el tiempo, un minuto. Ready? Begin.
And let's get ready for the Namaste song. Please bring your hands together at your heart. Namaste, 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 Namaste. Say kind thoughts, kind words, kind actions, and kind hearts. Namaste. I'm Miss Peterson, and today I'm going to read How Full Is Your Bucket for Kids? The reason I chose this story is because it does a really good job of showing an imaginary way to help yourself have a good day and help people around you have a good day. So let's begin. How Full Is Your Bucket for Kids? Written by Tom Rath and Mary Reckmeyer. Illustrated by Mari J. Manny. Felix was putting one of the last blocks on his tower when his little sister came in. I want to build with you, she said. Felix scowled. Go away, you're too little. I'm big. Stay back, you'll knock it over. I can be very careful. Go play with your baby toys, Anna. She seems angry. Black. Grandpa! Grandpa shook his head. Felix, you just dipped from your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket. When it's empty, she feels bad. But when it's full, she feels great. Didn't you ever notice your own bucket? Invisible bucket? Hmm. Sometimes Felix couldn't quite tell when his grandfather was joking. But the next morning, when Felix woke up, there it was, a small gray bucket floating above his head. When Felix came down to have breakfast, his mom was in a hurry got to get to this meeting. It's almost time to go. Anna, sit still. Felix slipped and cocoa wheat scattered across the floor. Felix, yelled his mom, you should have used the stool to reach that. Felix could feel his bucket tip and the big invisible drip began to spill out. Drip, drip. Ha ha, Anna laughed as she crunched the cereal with her shoe. Drip, get the broom and clean that up before you miss the bus, scolded mom. With the school bus honking, Felix quickly swept up the cocoa wheats and grabbed the last blueberry muffin. But before he could even take one bite, Buster jumped up and grabbed the muffin from his hand. Drip. Then on the bus, hey, look at Felix's new backpack. My baby brother has one just like it. Drip. Psst, Felix. Drip. Watch out, shrimp. Drip. Uh, 
It was still morning, but Felix's bucket felt almost empty. Oops. As he watched his classmates walk into the room, he secretly hoped that they would trip and fall. That's what it feels like when you have an empty bucket. Felix slumped into his seat and waited for something else bad to happen. Mrs. Bumblenickel walked slowly up to his desk and handed him a paper. He could barely, he could hardly bear to look. Felix, you wrote a wonderful story. Would you please share it with the class? Felix grinned and felt a big drop land right in his bucket. Drop. The Gigantosaurus who wanted a pet by me, Felix. The class grew quiet. They laughed at all the right places and ooed at all the scary parts. When Felix finally read the end, everyone clapped. Even Emily, who sat next to him and didn't usually like dinosaurs. Felix felt a whole shower of drops land in his bucket. Maybe the day wouldn't be so bad after all. Drop, plop, drop, plink. At lunch, he got a love you mom note. Drop. At PE, team captains today are Veronica and Felix. Drop. Nice cow. It's a dog. Well, nice colors there, Felix. Drop. Cool laser ant backpack, Felix. Drop. By afternoon, Felix's bucket was nearly full. You see it there? At recess, when he looked around, Felix suddenly realized that his grandpa was right. Everyone else had a bucket too. All the kids had buckets. I can turn the page. Let me help you. Drop, drop. Here's your baseball catch. Thanks, dude. Drop drop. Hi, I'm Felix. Is this your first day? Yes, I'm Amir. Drop, drop. The strange thing was that for every drop he helped put in someone else's bucket, he felt another drop in his own bucket. When Felix burst in the door after school, he shouted, you were right, Grandpa. I do have a bucket, and I understand how it works. Then he saw Anna's torn doll. Bad dog, he almost scolded. But then he thought, dogs might have invisible buckets too. Your doll will be okay, Anna, said Felix. Mom will fix her. Well... Until then, do you want to help me build the tallest building in the world with my blocks? And so they did. You can see they both have full buckets again. Thank you for reading with me. I thought this was a nice story that shows how happy we are when we help other people. Hope you have a wonderful week. See you next time.
Hello. Hola. Привет, regular students, regular painters. My name is Mrs. Shore. This is my son, Jacob. And this is my daughter, Rebecca. So today we are going to do something very unusual and pretty cool together with you. As you have noticed, our trio means three people. One, two, three. Us uh, greeting you in three different languages. And that was done purposely because today's activity is including speaking in uh, three languages. All of you regular painters are already bilingual. You know two languages. Some of you know even more than two languages. And some of you speak three languages. Um, maybe some of you speak even more than three languages. But today we're going to concentrate on speaking just in three languages. All right. So, regular students, this is very, very important to know many languages, you know that, because as many languages you know, it's better, uh, easier for you uh, to uh, read and write. It's a fact. It's a known fact. All right. So, fun painters, today all of us will step into a trilingual pass by counting numbers in English, in Spanish, and in Russian. I'm going to be responsible for Russian language. Rebecca will be... Spanish. And English. Jacob in English. So, our purpose, like, uh, you know... Everything in life has a purpose. So our purpose, or at regular school, we're saying our goal is for today to know the uh, to notice what is the same, what is different between those three languages, and also the very important purpose for all of us to have fun. All right, now I'm going to explain to you and show to you how we're gonna do it. Each person in our trio will have to say one, the number of uh, words in his or her assigned language. The other two people will repeat that number. For example, Jacob will say a number in English. Rebecca and I will repeat that number. Then Rebecca will say the same number, but in Spanish. And uh, Jacob and I will repeat that number. And you guys, okay? Jacob, I, and you guys. Then I'm going to say the same number in English and um, uh, Russian. And uh, um, Jacob, Rebecca, and you guys will repeat that number. So we're going to count numbers from 0 to 10. Uh, let's practice the first one. As soon as you start, I know it sounds kind of complicated, but as soon as you start, you'll see how easy and comfortable you'll get. All right, Jacob. Zero. 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 Noel, 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 noel. All right, that was a practice. So we're gonna say, do the same things with the other numbers until we get to the number ten, and we're gonna have three rounds to say each um, in, uh, numbers in each language. So we're gonna start again with the same number zero, and go to number ten, and um, hopefully you will learn some new language. Okay, let's start. Zero. 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 Noel. 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 One. 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 Uno. 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 Adin. 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 Two. 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 Dos. 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 Dva. 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 Three. 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 Tres, 
Quattro. 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 Четыре. 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 Eight. 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 Ocho. 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 Voicim. 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 Nine. 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 Nueve. 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 David. 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 And the last number. Ten. 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 Diez. 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 All right. Now, let's see. Jacob, what did you notice? I noticed that some numbers, words sound totally different. For example, four, quattro, and chitiri. I noticed that some of the number words begin with the same sounds. For example, three, trace, and three. All right. And I noticed, I just can't find, let me give number 10, for example. Uh, and I noticed that all the numbers in all languages uh, are the same, the, uh, the symbols. For example, 10 in, uh, in the Spanish, 10 in uh, English, and 10, number 10 in Russian, the same numbers. So they're all the same, the symbols for the numbers. All right. So, boys and girls. Now we're going to stop for a second before we go to our next fun activity. And um, it will take a couple seconds, so bear with us. We'll come back. And at this moment, we, you can just reflect on what you learned. All right. So see you very, very soon. Hello. Hola. Привет, regular Panthers. We are back and ready for our last but not the least uh, physical activity. So today we are going to dance to uh, to the Macarena, Macarena um, and we're going to follow very simple 10 movements. But the catch is you will have to count to 10 in three languages. Um, the, the good part is you're all fluent in English and Spanish. The trickiest part would be to count in Russian since you were introduced to this language like about eight minutes ago. But River Centers, you are so smart. With a little practice and uh, perseverance, you can do anything. You can accomplish anything you want to. So let's start. So, I'm going to show you the movement. One, sorry, zero, one, two, Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're gonna do it in three languages, three times, three rounds. Um, Jacob is gonna do it in English, I'm gonna do it in Russian, and Rebecca is gonna do it in Spanish. So maybe two. All right, let's go. 
zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, zero, did have time rebecca jake and i really did have a time a good time so we hope you did too so we are gonna see you next time and stay safe stay healthy we love you we care about you see you next time bye Baka. Adios. bye and bye bye <laughs>